Good morning. As you could tell, I just woke up. Um, I look ragged because, well, I just woke up. <laughs> but I decided I'm going to dye my hair. So, this caramel looking, I don't know what you want to call it, hair is going to go. See, my roots are, I don't know if you can tell this lighting is terrible, but in my vlogs, my hair has been showing that it's not dark in my roots anymore. So, we're going to work on that. <sighs> I'm so tired. Mm. Anyway, I'm gonna take care of my hair and go to the bathroom and such and such and such because I haven't, I just woke up, so. We'll see you guys at some point. <laughs> mm, let's see. Let's do a transition, maybe? Mm. And voila! Homegirl is done! Obviously you can't tell really. Shoot. Focus. Focusing. Okay. Um I think I did a pretty good job. I've already looked over in the mirror. This doesn't do it justice, but overall my roots are looking way better. I am happy about that, that they're darker again. But Obviously the real, tr I probably skipped some areas like I always do. I don't know how I'm, it's kind of hard when you're looking in the mirror and the, you only see this certain circumference of the front and maybe the sides in the mirror, but I couldn't obviously see in the very back. But I tried my best. Hopefully it's a little Gucci fresh back there, but anyway. <laughs> um. So yeah, I gotta get myself going because it is late. It's... By the way, it's Friday, if you guys didn't know. Um, you will eventually when I put this in, but... It's after 10, so I need to get my rear beer, rear going. Um, but first, I need to show you my outfit. My outfit is so cute. It's simple, but yeah, it's cute. So hopefully, I can show you guys in this. You can see my shirt. Pants. You know what? Let's just show in the mirror. There we go. We can see my outfit better here, so don't mind my laundry. Um, so I got my black jeggings on. Just comfortable. Something. No, I'm not going anywhere, but that's irrelevant. Just thought, since most of the time I'm wearing my sportswear stuff, I was like, let's go ahead and have an actual outfit on. But this is one of the shirts I got from one of our clients. And I love it because it over it lap, it's oversized and then it overlaps my curves a bit, so it doesn't look like I have I'm too curvy. I don't know. I don't want my curves to really show. So here's my outfit of the day. So yeah. So anyway, I just need to get myself going. <sighs> Tired, y'all. Waking up. I didn't get to sleep in. I didn't have to wake up at 5 every morning. <sighs> oh yeah, it's also December. It's December 3rd, by the way. How crazy is that? It's already December. Can't wait. Honestly, I don't want to sound like a Scrooge, but I can't wait till the holidays are over and it's the new year. Because I am just so sick of holidays. Working around clients, working around this, rescheduling. I can't imagine how mom's how she feels like I already feel frustrated I'm sure she's even frustrated because she has to switch everything around plus get appointments in which we have a doctor's appointment this month <sighs> anyway we got lots to do and I just can't wait till this month is over it's just December is the worst because it's like the most chaotic ever it really is I mm. And don't get me started on other things, which how the world celebrates this month frustrates me. It really does, because I'm not a huge fan of Christmas. Not I did as a kid, but as you get older, you acknowledge a lot of things. Things are not right. Some Christmas is over commercialized. It's over. It's overdone. It's way overdone, and I'm just ugh, you know. But. At least, praise the Lord, I'm not going through depression this winter, and I'm feeling better. 
for the most part. Um, so that's at least something to be grateful for. I don't need to have so much negativeness in this. Why is the light? Oh my god, I think it's because the sun keeps going in and out of the clouds. But anyway. <laughs> enough of me rambling and complaining I need to get myself going I need to go take my medicine gotta go eat gotta to work on chores so I'll see you guys probably around Bible time so yeah ooh home girl is back oh yeah 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 as you could tell my hair now is completely dry well minus the fact that I was sweating when I was vacuuming but that's like all the time um let me take my earbud out since I'm not listening to music but if, as you can tell the my hair is definitely dry and it's definitely darker than it used to be and it's definitely volume vol it's definitely got a lot of volume right now <laughs> I didn't do much of anything I just kept it the way it is I didn't put any hair product it just it does its own thing since I showed you guys finally what my hair looks like and I wanted to put my hair up but I didn't but I am now because it is so stinking hot at least for right now until I cool down Let's see I definitely think my roots definitely took I even tried to get the baby hairs back here I hate these baby hairs I really do but if I shave it off um it just grows back and it's really when it's shaven I don't know how guys deal with short having short hair or even the girls too that tend to have short hair I can't stand how prickly it is back there I just can't so I let the my fly away baby hair whatever you want to call it do it just say it like that <sighs> Anyway, so, I got the vacuum cleaning done. Um, it's actually after one now, but I'm not into the mood to eat at the moment. So, I'm not going to eat right now. I did remake my bed. Scoodles has been laying on it lately, and it needs... My allergies are terrible, so I need to deal with that strip it and make it clean it you know the shim all the shabang a bang also need to get to laundry but can't because mamacita is still doing laundry and i hear a kitty cat wanting in i knew he would want in okay are we gonna let you coming in Come on. Hi, old man. Sorry about the junk around, but there we have it. I still gotta, as you can tell, I need to deal with this. I gotta deal with all this, but anyway. Meow. I made my bed. I did put that. I need this wash too, but I didn't want Scoodles all over. I knew he's gonna come up. And so, yeah, I had to put this down so you don't shed all over my, um actual sheets bed sheets that are actually clean but yeah I need to clean this too and yes I still have my princess um blanket comforter or whatever thing you want a thermal blanket I oh, know old man how's my old man this old man he play one he play nick nick go my thumb with the nick nick patty whack give a kitty treat meow 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 he's old man you're a pretty pussy kitty He's so much a beautiful kitty. Says I'm not beautiful. Oh, I'm handsome and beautiful. Oh, the same time I know. I don't know if you can hear him purr. Let's see if I can get close enough and if you can hear him. I know I. <laughs> Scoodles, he's so curious. But anyway, I knew Scoodles would get up here, so that's why I kept that here. I'm gonna eventually clean this one. I have the time to do so and when Mama Sita is done laundry, right? Yes, oh man. So, the set time of the day. Bye.
all the time. Oh, you're going to join us, Scoodles? You want to join in on the reading? Very educated cat. I'm not sure how much you actually learn. I think you sleep through most of it. Anyways, I'm going to read, which I'm actually, I did read my personal time, which I finished up Revelation. Now I'm in Genesis, y'all. I'm starting all over again. I can't actually tell you how many times I read through the Bible. It's, I know I've read at least, this is probably the fourth time, maybe the fifth. I don't know. I really don't know. But we are in Hebrews. I'm thinking Hebrews chapter 2. I think we are already established chapter 1. Um, mom let me buy, buy, pick out, whatever you want to call it, eggnog. So that's what I'm drinking. Currently, you probably can't see it. But, drinking eggnog. I don't know if anyone else likes that seasonal drink. Besides apple cider, I like eggnog. I, the first time I drank it was six or seven years ago. Maybe five, I don't know. Um, at my great aunt's place I think it was Thanksgiving I don't think it was Christmas just yet but who knows it might have been Christmas anyway she had eggnog and I tried it I was like "Ooh, this is good it's not healthy I will tell you that's very fattening but it's a seasonal drink I only get like once and I don't try not to drink more than once a day because it's really not good for you right yeah Scooter Pug. Okay, Hebrews chapter 2. Let's get started. You're warning against drifting away. Which is very easy to drift away when it comes to our spiritual needs. I'm not going to lie, because we get swept up in this worldly crap. And no sooner do we realize we drift away from God. Which is sad, but it happens daily. Scooter's are joining us. <laughs> you better listen, mister. You might be needing this. So we must listen very carefully to the truth we have heard, or we may drift away from it. For the message God delivered through angels has always stand, stood for, firm and very every violation of law and every act of disobedience was punished. So what makes us think we can escape if we ignore this great salvation that was first announced by the Lord Jesus himself and then delivered to us by those who heard him speak? And God confirmed the message by giving signs and wonders and various miracles and gifts of the Holy Spirit whenever we, he chose. Jesus, the man. And furthermore, it is not angels who will control the future world we are talking about. For in one place, the scripture says, says What were mortals that you should think about them, or a son of man that you should care for him? Yet you made him only a little lower than the angels and crowned him with glory and honor. You gave him authority over all things. Little sidebar. It's called still in control, which God is. Jesus has authority over everything. Let me read. Jesus has authority over everything. Even you. Even though you don't think he does, he does. His authority is sometimes not apparent, especially when evil actions take place on a daily basis. Hmm. These actions cause many to wonder whether or not God has totally abandoned the earth. Has he? No, he has not. But he does give us free will to do, choose whether to obey him or disobey him. It's up to us to decide which way we're going to, which path to take. Ever feel this way? But this message, passage states Jesus still is in control. Amen. Even today, y'all, even today, someday he will return to reign as king. Do you believe that? I do. Now when it says all things, it means nothing is left out. But we have not yet seen all things put under their authority. What we do to... What we do see is Jesus who was given a position a little lower than the angels and because he suffered death for, for
for us, he is now crowned with glory and honor. Yes, by God's grace, Jesus tasted death for everyone. He didn't have to, but he did, and I am so grateful that he did. Otherwise, I'd be messed up. <laughs> More than I already am. God, for whom and through him, whom everything was made, chose to bring many children to glory. It was only right that we should make Jesus, through his suffering, a perfect leader, fit to bring him, them into their salvation. So now Jesus and the ones who makes holy have the same Father. That is why Jesus is not ashamed to call him, them, his brothers and sisters. For he said to God, I will proclaim your name to your, my brothers and sisters. I will praise you among your assembled people. He also said, I will put my trust in him, that is, I and the children God has given me. Because God's children are human beings made of flesh and blood, the Son who also became flesh and blood. Excuse me. For only as a human being could he die, and only by dying could he break the power of the devil who had the power of death. Only in this way he could he set free all who have lived their lives as slaves to the fear of dying. We also know that the Son did not come to help angels. He came to help the descendants of Abraham, a.k.a. the human beings. Therefore, it was necessary, to, necessary for him to be made in every res, respect like us, his brothers and sisters, so that we could be our merciful and faithful high priest before God. Then he could offer a sacrifice that would take away the sins of the people. Since he himself has gone through suffering and testing, he is able to help us when we are being tested. Amen, amen, and amen. I love Hebrews. Hebrews is one of my favorite books of the Bible. One of. Philippians is my other one. And Psalms as well. But a lot of... The whole book, generally, I just love the Bible. It teaches me a lot. I le I, every time I look around, there's something new to read about. Or I didn't, you know, it kind of overpass something when you do read it. It's like, whoa, that was different. You know, it speaks to you at that moment. But I hope anytime I read the Bible to you guys that it's benefiting you. You learn something from it and you're able to understand me even though... I tend to tongue to get tongue tied and my brain just doesn't catch up with my body. I don't know. It's a little my brain's a little slow, so forgive me if I tend to ramble or when I read it, it's because I'm word vomiting at that moment. So I do apologize for that. But that's just me, something I have to fight through. Being a teacher, being an influencer, I have to learn to speak pray through it, look over it, and just <sighs> calm through it, you know. And God is helping me through that situation, so I'm so grateful for that. Anyways, um, I don't know if I have any editing besides this video. I will be making some more videos. I don't know if I already mentioned this, but, um, I am already giving up this coming up year. In January, I'm going to give up The Avican Life, which I'm going to be making some more videos on that. Mm. And just to show you guys what I've been up to lately on there. Um, just taking a break on that, off of that one. Excuse me. I apologize for that. But I miss TikTok. I love TikTok. Making TikTok, bleh, TikTok videos. I absolutely miss them. So I'm going to be... And since I can't have both because my storage capacity on my phone... Forgive me for saying this, but sucks. Um, it really does. I don't have much storage space, so I can't have both. So I'm going to get rid of, and I'm getting kind of bored of the Avican life, kind of. So it's limiting me quite a bit. So anyway, I'm going to get temporarily get off of this. Um, and then I'm going to get on TikTok again. I'm not going to do the same things I used to on TikTok. I'm not going to do all the trends stuff that are trendy nowadays I'm going to do stuff like talking more reading the Bible more I really do want to be more of an influence Christian influencer on my social medias social medias including TikTok um, I definitely want to do more on there I do I'm not saying I won't do trendy stuff on there but I'm not going to get heavily involved 
especially when it comes to more secular crap that's going on there and I just like oh this younger generation is so messed up but it just it saddens me honestly um to see so many younger generation get swept up in this crappy messed up world and think it's okay because it's not okay a lot of the crap that's going on today is just it's horrendous it's evil people are being brainwashed by satan himself and it's just sad and so i do need to go through tiktok i need to eliminate some people that have bad influence i have followed i need to get rid of them no offense to them i just need to say sorry nara i already been doing that through instagram i got rid of snapchat i'm not a huge fan of it anymore so please forgive me if i unfollow some people or have kind of excluded myself from social media reason is i'm more focused on what god wants for me instead of what the world has to offer this world has nothing to offer that honestly i'm really interested in so plus i'm just always busy with work and everything so i don't have as much time to be more focused and dedicated to my social media and that god's been convicting me for years and i mean years about my actions and why i haven't been spending more time with him and then putting social media as my god my idol and for years it was my kryptonite and so i've given a lot of thought and prayer and given up a lot of people in my life and social media taking weeks months years off of it and honestly it's done me a world of good i definitely recommend it if something is hindering you and your spiritual walk with god if something is generally bothering you please do something about it it yes it's going to be hard it's going to be painful but in the end you're doing yourself a world of good and so yeah and saying all that i'm not going to be hyped on TikTok as much, but I do want to be on it. Again, I miss making the videos and stuff, so I'll probably be sharing with you some of my TikToks, minus the volume. If it's because um, of copyright issues, I can't put the music on there. Even if it's a few seconds, I just, I don't want to get copyrighted, so forgive me for that. Oh my goodness, my allergies are terrible. Red Scooter Pie? He's sleeping on my bed. I don't know if you can see him. Oh my goodness. Is he gonna focus? There he is. Hi, Scootles. He's right there. <laughs> Cutie pie. Anyway. Scooter pie. This thing needs to focus. But anyway. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I have forewarned some of my friends. I'm gonna for I still have to forewarn my other friend on the Afghan life. If you're watching this, sorry, but I do definitely need to warn my friends because I did make some friends on the Afghan life, and I want to tell them like if you want to communicate with me, it'll have to be through Instagram. It can't be through the Afghan life. But anyway, enough of my rambling. That's what's been going on the new year i can't wait till this month is over as i said near the beginning of this video i generally cannot wait i'm just so sick of holiday seasons it's like uh, it just messes up the routine i don't like it plus everyone like almost all of our clients has so much christmas and decorations it's just it's cluttered and i'm just like ugh. You know? Mmm. I can't stand it. It's one of the reasons why we don't have decorations, because it's just clutter. It's just clutter. Don't like it. Anyway, it's just a dust collector is what... Plus, we're not kids anymore. Zach and I are adults. We don't care. Anyway. I don't know what else I'm going to be doing. I have to go check, see if mom's done laundry. I don't think she is, but we'll see. So, this segment's already going on 20 minutes long, so I don't know what I'll be doing later. So, I'll see you when I see you. Alright, I am back. It's evening. Um, if you hear any music in the background, 
Um, we got a new radio disc player, Bluetooth, streaming, whatever, stereo now, and so my stepdad is hooked on it. He's got his phone hooked up to him, so he's listening to music, so, plus he's also hearing impaired, so he has it pretty loud. Hopefully it's muffled enough and you can't really hear it. But, as you can tell, I'm in the midst of laundry. I don't know if you can tell that or not, but I'm in the midst of laundry. Ooh. Blurry. There we go. That's better. Decided not to worry about cleaning this thing. It's comforter. I have the other one. It's at least getting washed. That's in the washer right now. I've got another thing of clothes, like my shirts and tops and everything that are in the dryer. I still have my undergarments to do and my bed sheets. Bed sheets can be last though. I already have clean ones on. So yes. That is what I've been doing. That and then I think around I ate lunch, didn't eat much, I just had leftover whatever I had in the fridge could find and then I watched some YouTube. And then of course I set up that radio thing and now Ricky's got a hold of it and he's playing with it. At least it occupies his time and it leaves us alone. So that's all that matters. <laughs> No offense, but he gets irritating at times. And I said that could calm calm him and keep him calm and stay still and whatnot. We good around here. This house didn't get dry as well. Too well. It's because it was a heavy load. Oh well. Not that bad. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys when I, earlier in the video when I was um, drinking eggnog. I want you guys to comment down below what is your favorite, I don't want to say holiday, but seasonal drink. Whether it's around this time or whatever throughout the year. What is your favorite drink of the year basically that you could that you really enjoy drinking. For me, it's definitely eggnog. Eggnog is definitely my favorite. I have, apple cider is pretty good too. So, comment down below if you don't mind. What, Whether you're from a different country or whatever it is, I don't care. What type of drink is your favorite? Seasonal or whatever drink. I also like those who know what Chick-fil-A is. Chick-fil-A, they have the milkshakes. They have the peppermint, um, so say peppermint bark. It's no, it's mint peppermint. It's not mint. Peppermint chip milkshakes. Oh my gosh, it tastes so good. It tastes just like mint chocolate chip ice cream. And it's my, anyone who is anyone knows that is my favorite ice cream flavor. So, I got one this year so far. I think it was Last month, we I had gotten one. I was surprised that they got them out so early. But it was so good. So that's one of my favorite, like, I guess you'd say another drink that I like. Because seasonal. I haven't been to Chick-fil-A since last month sometime. Mom's trying to cut back on fast food, which I don't blame her. I get it. It's we're all fat. We're all don't need it. It's not good for us type thing. Kate, we did go to Taco Bell. What day was it? The Wednesday, I think it was. Yeah, it was Wednesday because we were late coming home and we we're going to the grocery store and everything. So we were late coming home. Like, if she's really hungry, we will stop, but. For the most part, we don't try to stop as much as possible. We'll wait till we get home, but if we're getting home really late, she knows it's going to be after 7, then yeah, we'll stop by somewhere. Like we did Wednesday night. 
This week was pretty busy. It's a heavier week. We had mixed match people all over the place and yeah, stuff like that. So got a lot going on. Glad it's over with. I just honestly wish I'm so looking forward to when holiday season is done. So sick of it. Oh. moving the tripod around and the legs get caught under the stuff. I guess I should just pull it in. That would be smart. I'll eventually get used to this filming thing and it'll get easier. Time goes by. Don't mind my dirty closet. He's done. I don't hear that anything now. Maybe he's done playing with it. bunch of snacks still. I don't know if you can see. Probably. I can't see with my big head in the way. Plus it's far distant. I still got pop tarts. I still have chewy dips. Vanilla bars. Oh, one of our clients gave, a, gave us candy. And so I got the big old um, Swedish fish. She said she didn't like them so I was like, okay, I'll take them. <laughs> so getting ready. Not exactly good for you because sugar, Aaron Burt sugar, corn syrup, ooh, gross, a lot of sugar, modified corn starch contains less than 2% citric acid, white mineral oil, hmm, that might be somewhat healthy, red 40, carnubula wax, hmm, good old wax, made in Canada at least. But, and then I got a few drinks of uh, sparkling ice and I uh, have Gatorade over here and I still have cranberry juice. <clears throat> Plus my energy drinks, my Coke, and more Gatorade. I don't know why I picked that Gatorade for myself when I should have remembered that I already had Gatorade, Gatorade in here already. Oh, I'm a stupid though is what I am. And where is hangers? I don't know. Anyways. So yes, my week was busy. It's tiring, but I survived. Home girl survived. And then we're getting a new client, which I'm not looking forward to. The house, it's not going to be a hard house to clean, but there's so much knickknacks and they got Christmas decorations everywhere. And just, <sighs> I, once you clean someone's house that has so many knickknacks, then you'll appreciate that you don't, then you will, won't want to put decorations out. So that's one of the reasons why we don't because it's a dust collector. It's something we constantly clean other people's houses. It's a pain to rear the, to clean around. It's messy, it's dirty, it's annoying, it's like, <sighs> Not that we're Scrooges by the way, but again, Christmas is not about the decorations. It's about Jesus. <sighs> really? Why the heck are you going down the road? Another one of those ATVs down the road. Oh, like, stop. Not supposed to do it, but they do it anyway. Anyway, yes, Christmas is not about the decorations. A lot of it's pagan, is it? Paganistic. Um, no real meaning whatsoever. I know people will disagree with me. To which is own. But... My opinion is it's unnecessary, over commercialized, annoying. 
I don't think it's a sin unless you think necessarily it's, I don't think it's a sin but at the same time I'm not for it okay for those reasons but um it's it does become a sin if you overemphasize it too much and forget completely what the real meaning of Christmas is fellow um plus jesus wasn't born in um uh, this month he was born in like october or september it wasn't christmas then and there was no snow where they he lives so i don't know why we get things all mixed up and distorted and ugh. i don't know we crazy we're all crazy Everyone thinks it's such a magical time of the year. Well, I guess it is for you, but not everyone. Plus, then we say Santa. Then we lie to our children that Santa Claus is real. Make up all this crap that who like he is and elves and all this other jazz. And I'm like, we're literally lying to our children about this type of stuff. I don't understand why we do that put all this expense and money into it for what is it a thrill ride for the parents i don't know not really for a lot of parents i, th I think we shouldn't lie about that and we distort who the real saint nick was i think we should admit to our children who saint nicholas was and stop distorting it and think it's all this magical like how can santa claus mm -mm. magically appear on every house all in one night. Really? He can't. He is a human being. He's not magical. He's not anything. He can't do that. So, why are we lying to our children about this stuff? I don't know. It drives me crazy. I, If I ever have kids, I will not be lying to them. I will tell you that. I will not lie to my children. Period. I'll be telling them how we celebrate, where, how, how we should celebrate, and why we don't celebrate the way the world does. It's just the way it's going to be. And I will marry someone who agrees with me, because I will not be with someone who full out agree disagrees about me, disagrees with me about s stuff like that. I think it's important that we're on the same page, same wing length. So I just finished my laundry, working on more laundry, and I don't know what else, so we'll see later, and if not, I'll do, probably do the outro later. You know what? Let's just do the outro right now, so, um, sorry if this vlog is boring to you or if you didn't like it. This is my life. Welcome to it craziness and all and for those who actually stick around and watch my vlogs thank you I appreciate it uh, thanks for those who have been watching one or two that have been keeping up so thank you for that one every time I upload one so thank you thank you thank you but anyway um to the outro um, as always, keep on smiling, stay positive, Jesus loves you, I love you, and I'll see you guys next time, bye!